Hey, welcome back to Mommy Souls. It's another week, another time together. If you're not a stay-at-home mom, chances are you're not going to get anything from this video. <laughs> because today's video is about how to look elegant, polished, how to look good as a stay-at-home mom. Because, you know, we're stuck in this four walls 24-7, seven days a week. And with that, you know, you can, you, you can kind of let things go. And after a while, you start to feel like, I don't feel like a... A woman. <laughs> I just watched Miss Congeniality. I introduced my eight-year-old and seven-year-old to it and they love it. So the movie script is all up in my head. I can just... If you've watched my older videos or if you've been here long enough, then you know I did something like this earlier this year and it's done wonders for me. It's just, it's helped mentally. It's helped with my morale. It's helped with making me feel like a contributing member of society, you know, which sometimes is what goes downhill when you're a stay at home mom. So of course I did the usual. I did a Google search, consulted with the experts who were good with their SEO. Now all of them were bloggers. So I would, I don't know if we can call them experts, but because I have done this, I can vouch for what they say to do. Well, I can vouch for the main points they say you should do. And some things were like, mm -mm. Like, um. So the very first thing you should do, the very first thing you need to tackle if you want to look good while you're home is you're going to have to do something to your face and your hair every single morning. You can't just use your face and hair the way you roll out of bed. <laughs> you, you can't. If you want to do makeup, that's cool. It's not about makeup. It's about looking fresh and clean every single day. It may not be the first thing you do in the morning because you know depending on your situation if you're not waking up before the kids you may not have time to do it right away but at some point in the morning maybe when the kids are done with breakfast while watching tv because stop it you know they watch ipad you're not you have them on ipad sometimes maybe while they're doing that or maybe while they're in the playpen then you go get your face and your hair put together with the face washing your face in the morning putting moisturizer some lip gloss some you know lip gloss or lip balm whatever you put on your lips that's it it's about looking fresh and clean. Now, if you want to put makeup on, cool. Mascara and eyeliner goes a long way for me. Just those two and that's it. I'm good. With your hair, it's just being intentional with your hair. It's not the situation of whatever your hair looks like when you get out of bed and then sometime during the day you put it in a ponytail. That's not putting your hair together. It's being intentional with how your hair looks. It can still be a ponytail in the morning, but brush it up. Make it look nice with a ponytail. Having some sort of hairstyle for me, with short hair, my hair is growing out. It's not long enough to put in a ponytail, so it can easily look crazy. The afro is not afroing because it's relaxed, <laughs> so it can look messed up. Going out, I can put a wig on, but I'm not going to wear a wig at home. That's just not realistic for me as a stay at home mom. So having some sort of hairstyle where I know I look put together without doing anything. I roll out of bed and I'm like, Washing your face every morning, having your hair together is a way to intentionally show up for the day. I like a quote a mom said in her commentary. I think it sums it all up perfectly. She said, plain and awake looking is much better than frazzled, bedraggled, and sleepy. That's it. Looking elegant, looking good, looking polished as a stay-at-home mom comes down to your appearance, your clothes. The key point with clothes is wear clothes that fit. I like the way one of the bloggers had it. She said, the shoulder seam should be on the shoulders. The sleeve length should be where it should be, not dragging down. <laughs> if you're wearing shorts, it should be above the knee or at the knee, not right below the knee, not somewhere between your knee and your feet. If you're wearing ankle pants, it should be ankle. It should be, it should fit on your ankle, not somewhere on your shin, you know? <laughs> Just making sure your clothes fit right. As stay-at-home moms, I don't need to explain to you why we wear the clothes we wear. We're juggling a lot throughout the day, so we don't want to think about what we're wearing. We want to be comfortable and look good. So it's not about wearing fancy clothes or wearing trendy clothes, although one of the articles mentioned wearing trendy clothes. It's about wearing clothes that look good on you. A good tip one of the bloggers wrote was to get seven tops it could be seven v-neck tops everyone looks good in v-neck get seven v-neck tops that are solid colors that you like so that every day is easy you're not even thinking about it you just pick out what you want for each day i would say get seven outfits not necessarily v-neck that are comfortable that you like in good colors and that was easy pick another blogger said you know wear more dresses and skirts if you wear dresses you automatically feel more like a you already know what I'm about to say. A woman. 
<laughs> dresses and skirts make you feel a lot more feminine and so you automatically feel a bit more put together than wearing shorts you know the uniform the shorts and the leggings and the yoga pants which there's always this discussion with yoga pants and i love how one of the bloggers said how is yoga pants considered lazy clothes when it's for exercise so you can still wear the yoga pants, you can still wear the leggings, you can still wear the bike shorts. It's all about the fit as long as it doesn't have the fuzzes on there and your top fits right. You're going to look good because your hair is put together, your face is put together, your top fits. So you automatically look good. And then there's the accessories. I think only one blogger mentioned it, but I think it goes a long way. Earrings. It doesn't have to be the hoops or the dangly ones, especially if you have young kids. It doesn't have to be that. A stud but having accessory just makes you feel i think it makes you feel like a <laughs> a woman you guys are going to be sick of that word after this a beautiful woman <laughs> it, it does it it just makes you feel it, it's it's feminine you know it makes you feel more feminine i still feel a, an emptiness right here i still feel a pain because there's this necklace this necklace that i wanted and i've been wanting to buy i finally got to the store and i bought it and I was giving my child a bath and she just, and that was it. I only wore it once and that was it. And that was six years ago. But I still, I still feel it. <laughs> I still feel the emptiness. So you don't have to wear necklaces you know, if you have a baby and whatnot. But it's just some sort of accessorizing earrings, bracelets, you know, it, it goes a long way. But of course, like the makeup accessory is optional, but it comes in handy. You know, use a nice hairband on your hair, a nice clip if, you, if you're keeping your hair down. All that makes you look put together and also makes you feel put together which puts you in a better mind space as a stay-at-home mom let me tell you something about baggy clothes one i feel like they're not really addressing the reason why we wear baggy clothes even though they are right in saying baggy clothes make it worse you know we wear baggy clothes because we want to cover up <laughs> we want to cover up those areas that we do not want seen they do discuss that and tell us it makes it worse and i agree because i have this picture i love this top i wear this top all the time at home because I wear it all the time at home, I also know it's one of those tops where when I take pictures, it's like air just comes in there and blows it up. So I end up looking twice as big, which is not what I'm going for. So when I took this picture, I immediately remembered, uh-uh, this is, this is that top. So I took the second shot and I had my hand on it so it gets closer to my skin and, you know, gets rid of that air. And look at that. Same person. These are just seconds apart and I look 10 pounds slimmer in it. At least I think I do. <laughs> Let me know if you don't think so. But it's true. Baggy clothes ends up making it worse. But I feel like they were not addressing the reason why we wear baggy clothes. Yes, yeah, to cover up the areas that we don't want to cover up. Then what am I supposed to do with those areas if I'm not wearing baggy clothes? I think you can do fit and loose. And that will take care of the problem area. Because, you know, we, we not all of us have flat tummy after babies not not some of us didn't even have it before babies some of us can be showing our lower belly like that you know and i know a lot of, all of us most of us suck in but some of us even with the best suction we still can't show our lower stomach right so the solution is do fit close but loose so it's it fits well on you but it's not kissing your skin i haven't bought a t-shirt from target in so long for that same reason like the type of material they use for the t-shirts there are those t-shirts that just hug your skin and they go into every crevice and every roll and every curve you know so you can it, it just shows it so be mindful of the material of the clothes you buy if you're buying a lot of fast fashion i.e you know you know the stores where yes it's affordable you can still find affordable that are not made of that material it's just it may take longer do you know how many t-shirts on the rack i went through before i got saw this one and i was like yes this is a good material you know it, it just came over me it doesn't hug every single you know thing you know and you can wearing tank top underneath also helps you know, sometimes, you know, you've seen my rules on the videos and I'm like, you yeah, know, whatever. <laughs> but that doesn't mean every time I want to be what I would rather you not see it. But what what, what am I going to do when you've already seen it? A key thing to remember when it comes to looking polished and elegant as a stay-at-home mom is that this may not be the time for you to care about it. You know, if you're watching this video or if you've read articles about this and you're like, I do not give up. I do not care how I look and what that. That's cool. You may be in that phase. It's all a phase. You know, I always say this. Everything is a phase and a season. You may be in that phase, especially if you're a new mom or you just became a stay-at-home mom or you have young, super young kids 
or you're dealing with any medical issue with your kids or whatnot, right now you're in survival mode. Right now you're in this is all new to me mode, you know? When I have a baby, like I'm off life for six months. Thank God I could afford to be off life. You know, I had maternity leave up to six months. I And then after six months, I was forced to be back in life and to care about how I look. But even then it was bare minimum. My, like my clothes barely fit. I just got what would, what can fit for work. And that was it, you know. But with my last one, I didn't have to go back to work. And I was off life for a year and I was home. Like I didn't have to leave the house. I was off life. I, I don't care what I look like. I, so for you, when you have a newborn baby or you're dealing with whatever, you may be in that phase where you do not care. You you couldn't care less about how you look or how people think you look about being elegant or polished. And that is fine. That's okay. When you get there in the future, <laughs> we'll meet you there. This is just to remind you that if you don't have, if you truly don't have the time, it's not necessarily physical time because you could find five minutes to get in that bathroom, wash your face, moisturize your hair. If you If you have time to pee, you have time to wash your face and put your hair together. <laughs> you know, the the thing is mentally, if you mentally don't have the time because mentally you just have a lot going on right now. You're trying to survive because you're new into this mom thing. You, you haven't slept more than two hours at a time. So mentally you don't have the time. That's fine. This is what you do later on down the road when you're ready to become a beautiful woman. <laughs> you get when you you've you've gotten your foot in and you have some mental clarity, some mental space to do it. And one critical thing that I feel like why are we not discussing this? Because as stay at home moms, we know, we know this is one of the main reasons why we don't look put together. And it is undergarments specifically bra you are at home so you can let it you know you can you can let it be my two cents with it is ditch the underwire for at home for when you're home please get your underwire for when you're going out especially if you're heavy on top you know get yourself a few whatnot bras that don't have underwires and that way it's comfortable they don't have underwire but they still you know lift and separate so it's comfortable when you're home. If you're not comfortable, you're not going to wear it. And if you're not going to wear it, your clothes are not going to fit. You're not going to look put together. You know, it's just forget it. Right now in my life, I'm very interested in being a lot more polished, more elegant as a woman. And I don't know, you know, it could be because I'm starting to see 40. <laughs> or it could be because my youngest is three. So I'm now done with the baby phase and I'm ready to get back into the I'm not going to say it. I'm ready to get back into my feminine side or whatever. But that's what I'm into. And I initially was looking into how to become a more put together woman, a more, you know, those women you see and you're like, yeah, that that's that's what I want to be like, you know. So when I started looking into it and I started saying things like, get your hair done, get your nails done, get your... I was like, it just seems so shallow. Like, what? No, this is the, uh -uh, there has to be more. But what I've come to realize is that, you know, there are different aspects to being a well put together woman, to being that ish, you know, to, to being that polished woman that you want to be. There are different aspects and a big part of it is appearance, you know, so you have to tackle this part of it before we tackle the other part. Appearance is one main thing and appearance is your nails, your hair, your makeup, your outfits, it is. So even though it seems shallow, is a necessary aspect that has to be taken care of. When you see a woman or when you see that woman you want to be, you may not want to accept it if you don't, but the fact is what hits you first is the hair, the makeup, the outfit. See, it's not it's not her brain you're seeing first. <laughs> it's the confidence she's exuding, is the look. The look and the confidence do go hand in hand. I know you can be comfortable with hair makeup. I know you can be comfortable with baggy clothes. I know, but they do go hand in hand. Being confident in how you look because you know you've put in some time in how you look. It's an aspect we still have to work on and make sure that we have that down. And then we can also discuss all the other things that can make you the elegant woman. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, I know you have because you're still here. Hit the like button for me. That really helps my channel grow. And if this is your kind of thing, let me know. Let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. 
When you do that, then that relates to me that love it, do a lot more of this or love it, whatever it is you did in this video, keep doing that because that's what I enjoy, see? And it also helps my channel grow because this YouTube will then show it to a lot more people and I can get a lot more eyes on the channel. So if you've enjoyed any part of this video, then hit the like button. And if this is your kind of thing, then subscribe. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Attest the grace, athleticism, and poise of each lovely woman.